in this thread. Heirlooms, knickknacks, neat things you own, and the story behind them. My uncle worked for the defense branch of Honeywell for many years. In the early 80s, him and a team of men were tasked with designing a new sabot round for the upcoming Rheinmetall 120mm cannon that would replace the existing 105mm on the Abrams. After months of design, they produced an increased drag round for live fire testing. They then went out to a range with a few of these rounds to see how they worked. The range was out in the middle of nowhere as expected. Now, these guys didn't really know what this thing would do when they fired it. They set up some cameras in the muzzle and pointed the gun at a pile of sandbags and dirt some 1,000 yards down range hoping this low drag design would stop there. What do you know? After they fired it and went down range, they couldn't find anything. Now skip ahead a few weeks. One of the members of the design team was driving around the area where they were testing and noticed a thing stuck in the telephone pole a few miles away from the range. Sure enough, it was the missing round. The guys took a chunk containing the round out of the pole and turned it into a plaque. This is literally the very first Honeywell 120mm Sabre ever fired. Now my uncle has passed and is sitting on the mantle. This is the story he told me countless times. Judging from the kinds of shit that happened to him in Honeywell, I have no reason to doubt it. Now, these guys didn't really know what this thing would do when they fired it. Top quality engineering right there. <laughs>